Well, I think there's a huge opportunity here for Taiwan companies um, and for Taiwan to understand that in a world that is getting hot, flat, and crowded, energy technology is going to be the next great global industry. It simply has to be. Okay, I know that for sure. What I don't know is which country is going to lead that world, that energy revolution, or which countries, because it doesn't just have to be one, and it most likely won't be. But Taiwan has a great opportunity in order to get its companies focused on this great opportunity, and then to partner with companies and communities in mainland China to use the China market there as a place to test out new technologies and get the scale that you need in order to move down the cost volume curve quickly and get those new technologies to market. So I think Taiwan has to understand what world it's in right now. It's in a world that's hot, flat, crowded. Energy technology, ET, is going to be the next great global industry, not just IT. And you want to make sure your companies understand that and are taking the lead in order to be part of that industry. And you've got a great market right next door in order to partner with. And also, the more you invent those new technologies, the more your companies will be the first to benefit from them, your manufacturing companies. So this is a great opportunity for Taiwan because you've got a lot of manufacturing companies, you've got a lot of engineering prowess. This is an engineering problem, okay? But it's a question of getting your strengths focused on addressing this problem, not just how to make a, a cheaper PC. Taiwan-China relations, um, mainland China relations, I these uh, last you know, two or three years, is how both sides have lowered the temperature, it seems to me, and let the natural forces uh, really come to the fore. Natural forces of uh, wanting to um, share educational opportunities, um, natural forces of wanting to share business and economic opportunities. And that's why more and more we see the natural forces of these two communities, which have so much in common, uh, coming closer together, now more air travel, easier um, communications. So many um, uh, Taiwanese investments in mainland China today, um, helping the Chinese economy grow, but also helping Taiwan's economy grow. And so it seems to me that you are Siamese twins, um, that uh, you really can't live you know, without each other now. You're both really integrated with each other. And, and I think you know, letting things take their natural course um, has been really healthy for both sides. Taiwan still has its own uh, political identity. Uh, China has its position on that. The two will work that out. But it's much easier to work it out, you know, from an understanding of lowered, you know, political tension, more cooperation. It's a lot easier for both sides to see their mutual benefits of keeping this relationship stable. And I, I hope that's how it will go in the future.